What's up everybody? Yellow. So um, as you saw in the thumbnail, I caught my little Moyu robots trying to do my unboxing. Everyone's trying to take my job. <laughs> they took my job. South Park reference. If you know it, leave it in the comments. They took our jabs. If you don't, you're going to think I'm crazy, but yeah. So today we got another package from the cubicle. Um, they seem to come all the time now, but uh, this was what was missing from our last package. Uh, it just got added a little late and it didn't get added, but whatever. Uh, but today we have a square one. Um, have not actually ever solved a square one. I am going to be, this is like a full, you know, first time. This is my first time um, ever unboxing turning anything for a square one. I'm very interested to learn to solve it. Um, as you've seen from my other videos, if you've been watching recently, I've been really getting into just like trying all these different puzzles. Um, again, I'm not necessarily a master at any of them yet, but we'll get there. Uh, we will get there. So here we go. Uh, we have our package from the cubicle. Let's go ahead and get that open. So we have the YJ square one. So I did, I got a little in, info from a friend of mine and he said, absolutely get the maglev kit. Um, and this is different from the maglev kit, like the just general like MoU maglev kit that they sell. So like if you were to order that one thinking you were gonna add it to this, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's, it's also one thing like, so there's not as many pieces because there's only um, like the two sides, I believe. Like I'm gonna learn this as I'm taking this apart, but if you imagine the way square one works, I think there's only the two sides, uh, the top and bottom that have tensioning because um, the other sides are kind of all different pieces and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take a look. But also I had a, someone ask me um, and I, God, I wish I would have known these existed because the May long that we just sent out for our, our giveaway, I would bet money. I would, I mean, I'd bet a million dollars that, so the problem, the reason I couldn't add maglev is the MoU maglev kits, they're just like a millimeter, probably not even a millimeter, just really small, just barely too big to fit into the center cup on the Maylong. The Maylong has like a, a little guided hole where the screw fits in. And uh, I would bet, I really would, I bet that these fit into that hole. And so you would essentially, there's only, I think, four magnets in here because there's the two sides you're going to magnetize. But so you would just get what you need two per side. So you would just get like three packets and you'd have enough for a, a full uh, three by three. So again, if you're looking to magnetize something like a Maylong or a budget cube that has a smaller hole, but you want to add maglev to it, check out this square one maglev kit. Um, I can't promise it's going to work on every cube, but um, at the end of this, why don't I try? I'll take a budget cube and I will see if I can insert it in there and just see if it works. Um, but yeah, let's get into the unboxings. We have our square one from YJ. Um, YJ, like always, pretty good deal. Um, it's kind of hard to, to argue with, you know, someone recommending a YJ puzzle because you know it's only going to be like $20 or something like that. Um, kids don't do this at home. I'm not being very safe with my scissors, but um, all right. Bam. Okay, so the one time I'm gonna throw my plastic and all that everywhere because I don't need it right now and whatever. Um, and I, I definitely can pick that up later. It's more the inside stuff. I, I, I some people just like crumple everything up and throw it away, but I, I actually appreciate like the accessory kits and whatnot. But so like every YJ box, I always like the YJ boxes. I think this is something super simple um, that they've implemented over the years, but it looks so clean. I mean, their boxes come super nice and then you just have this sleeve that comes off. And I mean, like it's so pointless, but it looks great. Um, and we, oh, oops. Ah! one of my robots fell, whatever, he'll be okay. As long as the cube's okay, that's really what matters. That robot doesn't mean anything, but, um, they could do so much more with this. If you think about it, like you could be printing on the inside of this, there could be so much more, you know, there's so much more room for like use for, you know, usage of space here. Um, maybe they have nothing else to say, but, um, but I would, I would think, especially with like how they have, 
a lot of the um, choking hazard warnings and all that in Chinese. It's like you could easily reprint a little bit of that maybe in, in English and, and cover your bases. But again, I, I always get on side tangents. So this box does feel very nice. It's got kind of that like vacuum plush feel. So as you take it off. All right. So one thing I wanted to make sure too is that this puzzle came with the black pieces because I've, I've seen and I want to make sure that I'm able to. Okay, so there's nothing underneath that. You have inside the box, you have your YJ accessory kit. You have your square one. That's it. So again, really cool box and everything. But like, think about this is what came in that. And we have this box. We have this whole thing. We have this whole thing. I mean, at this point, like I said, it's beautiful, but it's a little excessive. And especially when your puzzle is only like $20, how much was this? Like, <laughs> anyways, um, let's get into it. So here we have our accessories. Oh, and th this is what I was really hoping for. And I'm, I guess everyone comes with this, but I, I was looking at ordering it from some different places because they were originally out of stock. That was actually why it didn't get added to my order and whatnot, is because they were just out. Um, but, and I, I was very curious because I want to make sure I, I'm able to add the black pieces on because I think the black looks so, so cool. Um, but yeah, I, I was worried that, you know, I kept checking in the description, does it come with black pieces? But they're like right in the uh, accessory kit. So I think everyone comes with black, uh, pieces to swap out. And essentially you can either do your white or yellow side. That's the only options you have. They have the pieces they give you. Um, especially since, you know, three by threes are all the same, like, piece size and shape and whatnot, so you can pretty much put it wherever, where this is not the case, so you have essentially there and there, and this is what I meant, like, I don't think there's tensioning in these side pieces, I think it's just, um, or I'll find out, we'll, we'll figure it out together, but, um, I, I think, I just know that I think there's only two places to add the maglev in, is my point, so, interesting, Ooh, I just love, like, I've only, this is literally all I've done before, is I felt someone's just turn. The magnets are, like, perfect strength, I would say. Like, you can see it, like, see the jiggle when it, like, pops into place? It, it's definitely, like, catching itself from over-rotating, because, like, with that, the amount of inertia this has, like, this is a pretty heavy layer. Um, I'm actually very curious at how much this cute, or this uh, puzzle weighs. It is a cube. I, I've gotten away from calling things cubes, because I have this, like star puzzle and whatnot and i'm like well that's not a cube but um this actually at least is a cube oh so it, it is heavy I, I was like this feels pretty heavy it's 93 grams so this weighs more than any any real three by three does um but again it feels really nice i mean you can hear it kind of scratchy i mean I, I definitely need to add some lube um it's very dry out of the box interesting though like the layers don't feel that extremely consistent um i read some really mixed reviews to be honest about this like th this seems to be everyone's favorite but at the same time i just just got some really like mixed some people came with like broken pieces um not from the cubicle this was just on random reviews i was reading but like um they had like broken pieces they had um just like some weird complaints just so with quality issues and like mine would be that like this upper layer and this bottom layer do not feel the same this one feels like it has more resistance. Um, this one feels like it spins a little freer. I mean, they're both pretty scratchy, to be honest. But, um, yeah, let's, like, I literally don't even know how to tension this thing. Don't know how. Okay. So, that's where, there's our tension. I was like, that didn't take long. I'm guessing guessing that is at least let's see i think the big let's see i think the big pieces you want to take out okay so there's our screw so now we we found one screw i'm guessing there's only one more and i'm guessing interesting so let's take it off oh the other ones don't really come off they're like kind of glued on so that must be it. That must be our, I'm so sorry. Sorry about that, my uh, earpiece fell out. But um, 
Yeah, I don't I don't see any other place. Interesting. I wonder if you do you just tighten. Let me let me look at this instruction for one second. I this is I've never ever had to look at the instructions on a puzzle before, but I'm very curious how this works. Um Chinese? No, thank you. Hmm. This is just a solving guide. This is actually not instructions. Ooh, okay. Let's, oh, I don't think there was anything in here either, though. Okay, so there are no instructions on tensioning and whatnot, but, I mean, you can kind of see here, like, there's your screw. There's going to be a spring inside. Um, yeah, If you, if, uh, the reason I'm wondering is so I can add my maglev kit. Um, I'll make a video specifically on that once I do a little more research and I know what I'm talking about. I don't want to sound like such a such a um, newbie at it, you know, trying to give advice to people. But this, as the unboxing, I just want to show you what you can expect. So again, there's your there's your screw and spring. Um, this is actually very interesting. This piece here, um, it looks like it's just like a a placeholder, and it looks like you just tension from this side. And I'm I'm assuming when you take this spring out. And this screw and spring, the, this other side is going to also come loose and fall out. And then you can add your maglev into both sides. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'll do a video on how to maglev your um, square one. Like I said, once once I I do a little more educating for myself at least. So um, yeah, this was a quick one. I just I this this was one puzzle that didn't get included in my last order. So I just wanted to make sure you guys got to experience the unboxing because it was super special. But um, yeah, so. Square one, like I said, out of the box, it feels, I don't know, it has that, like, has matte plastic. I was expecting it to be a little more glossy from YJ, um, but that might just come with, with time and breaking it in and whatnot. Um, there's actually, like, a little, hmm, it's like a little piece of plastic. There's a bunch of them, like, little plastic shavings. Um, you can tell, like, again, you can tell why it's a budget puzzle. It's, it's, you know, it can feels like a little bit cheaper plastic and whatnot. Magnets are solid, but like, um, yeah, I, you could, I could definitely see why this is only like fifteen twenty dollars or whatever. Um, but at the same time, it's only fifteen to twenty dollars, and it comes with black pieces for another like two dollars or whatever. You can do add maglev. It's pretty easy to mod up and and really increase the performance of this thing. Um, so, but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, these guys, hopefully they're up, up to no more trouble today. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, like I'm gonna do more research myself, but if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments as always. Um, again, we have our giveaway going on. Uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment with an, any idea for a video. That's what the entry for the giveaway this week is. Just if you get, throw ahead, throw any idea my way for anything you'd like to see on the channel upcoming in the future, and boom, you're entered in the giveaway. And um, it's been kind of a hectic weekend between the comp and all the uploads and everything, but I do have our giveaway cube, and I've started uh, the modification process. So yeah, by the end of the week here, we should have our next giveaway cube to give away. And uh, yeah, so just keep entering and you'll get to have a great chance. Like, like I always say, I'm a small channel, so you have a very good chance of winning. I mean, it's not like you're competing against a million other people or whatever. I'm not Mr. Beast here. So uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll see you guys. Uh, see you soon. Have a great night.